Welcome sa sipnayan.com. This video, tutuloy natin ang ating series on uh, area. No? Ang previous na pag-aaralan natin ay ang area ng rectangles at area ng squares. No? And in this video, ang gagawin natin is pag-aaralan natin kung ano ba yung formula ng area of a parallelogram. No? Um, yung pinaka-derivation nito, meron tayong derivation in a separate video. No? Um, nagawa ko na siya before. Click nyo lang yung link sa baba. Now, um, uh, dito, medyo simple lang yung gawin nating derivation. Hindi tayo mag, masyadong magdetalye. No? Uh, you can watch the detailed derivation dun sa link na sinasabi ko sa baba. Pwede nyo i-click. Okay, so the idea no, is to uh, transform a parallelogram into a rectangle. No? Kasi alam na natin na if you have a rectangle, for example, Uh, we have a rectangle. Pag meron tayong uh, L tsaka W, then we know that area is equal to length times width. No? The product of the length and the width. No? So if we can tran somehow transform the these parallelograms, these parallelograms into a rectangle, uh, then uh, pwede natin gamitin yung area equals length times width. No? Now, uh, this is our parallelogram with base B. No? Uh, base B and height h no so paano ba natin kukunin yung height ng parallelogram syempre yung uh, ano muna yung properties ng parallelogram so a parallelogram is a a um, quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel no? so ito parallel dito ito parallel dito at para makakuha ka ng height ng parallelogram you have to drop the line from one side to the opposite side such that the line is perpendicular no? to both sides. No? Automatic naman yan kasi parallel to pag perpendicular siya sa isa, perpendicular din siya sa isa. No? So I can drop I can drop the height here. No? Siguro gawin na natin yung solid. Okay? Okay? So ano masasabi nyo doon sa height? Siyempre, Uh, the height is perpendicular to the base, so this is actually perpendicular. Tama? Uh, so, ano na buong figure natin? Nakabuo tayo ng uh, triangle dito, and this is a right triangle. No? Now, what we can do on the other side, we can extend the side here, doon sa kanan, and then we can also drop A line here. Okay? So, anong klaseng, anong klaseng triangle ang nabuo natin? This is a an equilateral triangle. No? Oh, no, no. Sorry. Hindi equilateral but right. This is a right triangle. No? Okay? So, anong masasabi nyo sa triangle na to at triangle na to? Actually, they are congruent triangles. No? Hindi ko na ipoprove dito but uh, kung nag-aaral kayo ng triangle congruence, then you will know that this triangle is equal to this triangle by uh, some congruence theorem. I think SAS ito, no? So, search yung by SAS congruence. Hindi na natin ilitali. Ibig sabihin, itong triangle na ito, pwede kong ilipat dito, no? At pag nilipat ko na itong triangle dito, anong magkakaroon ako na anong, 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 anong shape, no? Magkakaroon ako ng bagong shape. Mawawala itong part na ito. Mawawala itong part na ito. And, mangyari, magkakaroon ako ng Rectangle, no? Magkakaroon ako ng rectangle kasi itong part na to, mapunta na dito. So, ano yung, ano tong part na to? This is B, di ba? Ang sukat niyan, B. This is the base of the parallelogram. And ano tong part na to? This is the H. Or the height. No? no? And sabi natin, yung area of triangle is length times width. Uh, the base is actually the length and the height is the width. So, area, no? Area is equal to base times height. Okay? So, anong, ano naman mangyari dito sa mga parallelograms na to? Actually, the same, same concept. Gawa ka ng height. Nito ang height nito is uh, para perpendicular dito sa base, di ba? Ganon din, you extend yung kapila. Extend here. Well, this 
medyo hindi to ma- medyo mahirap siya maging accurate but I think the idea is the same and then you'll see that uh, you'll have two congruent triangles no and what will happen is that to yung base natin di ba yung base natin ito yung height natin ito yung base this is the base from here to here and then we have the height here and then makakabuo tayo ng katulad nito makakabuo tayo ng uh, rectangle here so area is still base times height kano din dito no same same concept I think yan and then yan I don't know if it's bong hindi siya right ano yung but anyway that's that's the idea na dapat makagawa ka ng um, makagawa ka ng mukhang hindi siya mukhang hindi siya rectangle dapat yan siguro mga ganyan baka pwede okay so the idea is to create a new rectangle out of the parallelogram no? so yan yung uh, yan yung dahilan kung bakit the area of a parallelogram parallelogram is equal to the product of its base and height. So, ito na yung pinaka-formula natin, no? So, siguro bago tayo mag-end, magkaroon tayo ng one example. So, alimbawa, meron tayong parallelogram na ito na lang, hindi na tayo mag-drawing ng bago. Suppose na sukat na itong base nito ay uh, say 10, no? 10 uh, cm for example. Tapos ang height niya ay, kunwari, mukhang half siya, no? Oh, 6cm for example. Hindi naman siya drawn to scale. So, 6cm yun nandito. So, area is equal to base times height. So, ang area nito ay base times height from this formula. So, area is equal to base, which is 10cm times 60cm. This is multiplication. Therefore, area is equal to... Oh, sorry. 6 cm. That's 60. So, area equals 60 square centimeters. No? Pag area, ang ating unit ay may square. So, pag meter siya, square meters. Pag kilometer siya, square kilometers. No? So, palaging may square, no? Katulad din yan ng volume. Pag, may, pag volume, cube naman siya. Pag linear, nakagaya ng length, width, height. Ah, wala siyang square, wala siyang cubed. Okay, so marami salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay dito sa ating series. Uh, meron pa tayong mga videos na susunod, no? Of course, uh, uh, tutuloy pa natin to. Gusto ko kayong invite sa sinayin.com, yung ating website. And syempre, gusto ko rin kayong invite na mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Uh, kung nasa YouTube kayo nanonood nito, ang gawin nyo is hanapin nyo lang yung subscribe button and then click the subscribe button. Dapat uh, maglalagin siguro kayo sa inyong Google. No? Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.